In today's video, I put rookie LeBron, Bronny, and Bryce on the Los Angeles Lakers as teammates, and we're going to see what this big three could do. I gave all three of them 99 potentials, so we should see this trio take over the league. The ultimate goal for the James family is to win four NBA championships in this video, like LeBron has done in real life. Without any more further ado, let's get into the James family's rookie season. Season number one is wrapped. I'm interested to see if any of our guys won rookie of the year, and it's going to be LeBron. Not a huge surprise. I mean, he is LeBron James. He averaged 23 points, six boards, six assists, and added on two steals and two blocks a night. Yeah, Bron even made All-NBA third team in his rookie season. He's just different. Bryce ended up making the All-Rookie first team alongside LeBron a really good rookie year. He averaged almost eight assists per game, and Bronny did not make All-Rookie. I feel like Bronny was low-key snubbed. Okay, maybe not. The efficiency was trash. But, I mean, he put up some decent numbers, 14, 5, and 4. Not too shabby for his rookie year. And we ended up winning 49 games. That's not bad at all, considering the potential for improvement that this team has. I mean, remember, this is just the rookie year for the James family. Imagine once we get like five, six years in, these guys are going to be crazy. Round number one, we're taking on the Pels. We're down three to two, and we end up losing in six. You know what? That's okay. I didn't even expect us to win this many regular season games. Shout out to Bron, though. He averaged about 26 points per game in the first round. Bryce was pretty solid. And I feel like Bronny's probably the one that needs the most work. He ended up getting a DMP in the final game of the series. That's weird, but I kind of see why because the stats for the playoffs shooting 18% from the field and 14% from three. That's crazy. Now, another thing that we got to watch out for as we simulate these seasons is what the Lakers front office is doing, because that's going to be important for the James family as they look to win NBA championships. Now, ignore the minus to LeBron's overall, but he's actually up to an 89. Bryce is up to an 82 and Bronny is up to a 79. So already these guys are becoming great. Next year, I'd expect LeBron to surpass Anthony Davis to become the best player on the team season number two is in the books congrats to John Morant on winning MVP and check out LeBron making all NBA second team this year he's already doing prime LeBron type of things in just a year two now Bryce and Bronny have yet to make all NBA but I wouldn't expect that I mean they did start off at a lower overall than Bron Bryce is starting to get a lot better the playmaking's really good he's averaging over nine assists a game and Bronny the efficiency has gone way up for this year and so have the overall numbers they look a lot better so Let's go ahead and get to the playoffs. Round number one, we're taking on the MVP, John ja Morant, and the Memphis Grizzlies. Game number one of the series goes to us. Game two is going to go to Memphis. Game three also goes to the Grizz. We're tied up at two apiece, so let's get into the Simcast. Game five coming up. I'd love to see the James family in action. We've got a five-point game here with less than two minutes to go. Bronny's going to get the screen from AD. He passes it down to Bron. LeBron in the post, steps it back. Beautiful post fade, but he misses, and Anthony Davis can't secure the rebound, so now the Memphis Grizzlies have it. Marcus Smart gives it over to Triple J. Now it gets to John ja Morant. Morant going to swing it over to Jaron Jackson Jr. Now it goes over to Desmond Bain. Bain gets the screen from Jaron Jackson. Shot clock winding down. Bain to the basket. Gives it out to Smart. Now it goes over to Morant. There's barely any time left. Ja, deep three. And he misses it. Great defense from the Lakers here. And now we've got to score because we need a bucket down five with only a little over a minute to go. Ball goes to LeBron James. James working on a visa Zubats he's doubled he fakes wide open Austin Reeves and he misses it wow LeBron found Reeves wide open and Reeves smoked it now the Grizzlies go into the basket and Bronny you gotta watch that man he went ahead and fouled Smart pretty crazily first one for Smart is cash second one for Smart is also good so we are down by seven points it's not looking good here unless we hit a three I'm probably gonna get out of this one Bronny James has it at the top of the key He's defended by Ja. Bronny going to give it over to LeBron. LeBron going to the basket. Steps it back. Reeves open from the same spot. And he hits this one. So he redeems himself. We're within four here. 45 seconds to go. No need to foul. Just get a stop. 
Ja Morant gets double teamed here. Morant gonna swing it to Bain out of the double. Now Desmond Bain's gonna get doubled. The Lakers playing some good defense. And now they're gonna opt to foul because 2K is stupid. There was no reason to foul right there. Triple J, first free throw is off. Okay, maybe that was a good foul by LA. Second free throw for Jaren is good. You know what? We're not in a terrible spot. Still over 30 seconds to go. We've got two timeouts left. And we have the ball right now. Bryce James inbounds it to AD. AD corner three. Why is that the play call out the timeout, man? I have seen enough. I don't know why you're going to AD for a corner three-pointer. Shout out to LeBron. And then you also have Bronny going crazy in this one and Bryce. They were all doing their thing, but it's not going to be enough. And we lose in game five. Now we're going to be facing elimination in game six. Come on, guys. Let's lock in and get this dub. Oh, man. I think last year we lost in six as well. John Morant gives us 52 in game six. Braun is ready in year two, though, to start winning chips. I would genuinely be shocked if we didn't win a ring next year. Anthony Davis is going to have to step it up, though. Shout out to Bronny. He was really good in the playoffs this year. And you could say the same for Bryce. So already the James family big three is making their mark on the NBA. And I think everybody knows it's almost time for them to take over. Like I said, I think next year we're easily making it out the first round. Low key, I expect us to make the finals. I mean, look at the team. Braun is up to a 93 overall. Bryce is up to an 87. Bronny is up to an 84. We've got a super team here in LA. Season number three is in the books. I thought Braun might have got MVP this year, but this is a different player. You usually don't see winning MVP. Shout out to Evan Mobley. LeBron must have been in those MVP conversations, though, because he was on the All-NBA first team this season at only 21 years old. No Bronny or Bryce just yet but like i said i expect it soon 60 and 22 on the season for our squad in la Bronny was giving us 20 a game bryce was giving us 15 and 8 lebron was giving us 26 i bet ad was giving us yeah i was gonna say like 15 but he gave us 13 a night kind of pathetic i'm not gonna lie to y'all but anyway in round number one we're taking on the houston rockets this should be pretty light work okay okay man all right we we lose in five games how was this team the eight seed in the first place they low-key got a squad like i understand why we lost but how did they make the eight seed injuries are off well, I guess we've still got some more work to do as a team. Obviously, what we're doing right now is not going to cut it. We need some more progression, some better play from some of our guys. With LeBron James up to a 95, Bryce up to a 92, and Bronny up to a 90, I was talking about how we needed some help. I think our call for help has definitely been answered. We are set to be stacked this year with 490 pluses on the squad. Season number four was one for the books. LeBron James won MVP this year, and we were incredible as a team. 68 and 14 on the season. Still no Bronny or Bryce on the All NBA teams, despite me giving both of them 99 potential. I feel like Bronny was snubbed. I mean, look at the numbers he was putting up. Bryce also putting up elite numbers and Anthony Davis was still kind of mid. We also got Chris Middleton. Oh my goodness, bro. This team is incredible. We better get this chip this year. Round number one, we're taking on the Minnesota Timberwolves. They're the eighth seed. We're the one seed and we beat them in six. Round number two, we got the Oklahoma City Thunder. The Thunder are known for being great in the 2K simulation, especially once you get a couple years into it. So we've definitely got a challenge ahead of us. Game number one of the series goes to OKC. Game two also goes to the Thunder. And oh man, we are down three to zero. We're going to take game four and game five. Hold on. The James Family 3-0 comeback would be historical. The comeback is alive. We're headed to game seven on the verge of coming back from down three to zero in the series. We've got the lead right now in the third quarter. We just got to hold on and it looks like we will. We pull off the three to zero comeback. Shout out to Bronny James, 36 points to seal the deal. Of course, Bron had to come through as well with a big performance of his own. And we're moving on to the conference finals against the Blazers. I feel like after that crazy comeback, we have the ultimate momentum. There's no way we can be stopped. 
Game number one goes to the Blazers. Game two is going to go to us. We also take game three. Blazers take game four. Big game five on the way. We've shown that we can show up in big games with that game seven win recently. And it looks like we're going to do the same here in game number five. We take it. And we are one win away from the NBA Finals. Bron gives us a triple-double. Bryce kind of a stinker. Bronny also had a bit of a stinker. But you know what? We just need one more win and we'll be in the Finals. And we made it. We're going to be taking on the Cleveland Cavaliers, LeBron James' former team in real life, the squad he was drafted by. And now him and his family are going to have to take down this squad. Game number one of the series goes to Cleveland. Game two is going to go to us. We take game three, and they're going to take game four. Another big game coming up. Game five, pivotal game of the series. We've been winning these recently, as I was talking about. Let's see if we can get this one. And it looks like we're going to win another big game. We are one game away from championship number one for our trio of LeBron, Bronny, and Bryce. And boom, we did it. And we did it in dramatic fashion. Bryce James has a solid game six performance. So does Bronny. LeBron had a bit of an off night, but I'd assume he's still winning finals MVP. And he does. But what a dramatic run to the finals. We came back from down three to zero to make it to the conference finals. Then made it to the NBA finals, took down Cleveland and got ring number one. But that first ring was challenging. So heading into year number five of the simulation, our guys are going to have to be locked in, especially with Anthony Davis regressing. We're going to need big years out of our big three of Bron, Bryce, and Bronny. Hey, what did Drake say? Bron's going back to back on MVPs. Also, real quick, I want to thank you guys so much for 20,000 subscribers. I'm aiming for 100K next year, and this year was so successful on the channel, man. So thank y'all so much. And you know what? I got to beg for more subs. So if you're enjoying the video so far, you should subscribe to the channel. My Glorious King also wins DPOY this year. And look at that. Bryce James ended up making all NBA third team. Good stuff. We won 63 games on the season, another elite year. They've been snubbing our guy Bronny from All-NBA. Just look at the numbers. He's going crazy. Coming out the play-in, we're facing the Memphis Grizzlies. They're the seventh seed. We are the one seed, and we were down 3-1 to one in this series. We end up losing in six. Bro, what is with this team and losing to lower seeds? How, how are we folding like that, man? That's a pathetic way to go out coming off of an NBA championship. You would at least expect us to make the conference finals at least the second round, you know? But we end up losing in round number one to the seventh seed, a play-in team too. That's crazy. And old man AD just keeps getting worse. So like I said, we just need a lot from our big three. My glorious king takes home another MVP, and he wins DPOY. Bron's taking over. I gave his sons 99 potential as well, but I guess Bron just had to make the video all about him and go crazy. Still no All-NBA just yet for our guy, Bronny James, but what really matters is winning championships. We got one ring in the bag so far. We got to get four, though, so a lot more work to do. Round number one, we're taking on the Sacramento Kings, and we beat them in a sweep. See, that's what you're supposed to do against lower seeded teams you're supposed to cook them round two we got the Pels who have Ja Morant game number one of the series is gonna go to us game two also goes to us and we're up three to zero see that's what I'm talking about man we beat the Pels in five and now we've got to take on Wembenyama and the Spurs Hey, AD, I know you're old, man, but we're going to need the best defense possible from you against Victor Wembenyama. Game one of the series goes to us. Game two also goes to us. Oh, man, that's what I'm talking about, AD. Were you locking up Wemby? Oh, my goodness, only 14 points in that game. How much did he score in game one? 24? That's not even crazy. 15? Oh, man, AD was him in this series. He was clamping Wembenyama. And now we're going to be taking on the Chicago Bulls in the NBA Finals led by Scotty Barnes. This team doesn't even compare to ours, bro. Come on. I'm not trying to sound too cocky, but I feel like we got this. Game one goes to Chicago. Game two is going to go to us. Oh, come on, man. We're tied up at two apiece, headed into game five. Y'all better win this one for me. All right, we were able to get the dub in game five. Bron came through with 35. Bryce came through with 28, 11, and eight. 
and we just need one more to win championship number two. But the Bulls, they come with a big win of their own, winning by 31 points in this one. And now we're headed to a game seven. This is where legends are made. It all comes down to this. Final game of the NBA Finals, championship on the line, and we are getting smoked. Oh, we're kind of coming back. Oh, never mind. It's over, bro. We lost. We got smacked. We lost by 29 points. And Scotty Barnes gives us 28, 11, and 11. I mean, Braun had a great game. Bryce had a great game. They both had triple doubles. Bronny was good. I guess Chicago was just better. And we end up losing to Scotty Barnes and the Bulls. Come on, guys. We got three more NBA championships to win. It's not going to be easy. We got to lock in and get these chips, man. LeBron James, another MVP, averages a triple-double this year, another DPOY as well for LeBron James. Bronny finally makes the leap onto All-NBA. He averages 11 assists a night this season. That's huge. And Bryce, he was great as well. This trio really took a leap this season, and I didn't even expect that. I mean, I thought they were kind of near their peaks, but I guess they're just continuing to get better. Round number one, we got the Phoenix Suns. We sweep them. Round two, we got the Spurs. We're tied up at two apiece. Game five goes to San Antonio. Game six goes to us. So we're headed to a game seven against Wemby. We have Floyd Bedunga as our starting center now. I guess he's not doing as good of a job on Wembenyama as Anthony Davis was. But we just need to stop Wemby for this one game so we can advance to the conference finals. They scored almost 200 points on us in regulation. Oh my goodness, that is ridiculous, man. I don't know what you're supposed to do when a team drops 174 points on you. It's already over at that point. Bronny was really good for us in the playoffs, though. So was Bryce. And LeBron, numbers went down a bit. But, you know, he was still doing LeBron type of things. At this point, we are seven seasons in. And we only have one championship to show for all of our work. We've made the playoffs every single year. But only have one ring. We've been the top seed a lot of those years as well. It's time for our guys to lock in and win some rings. LeBron's just him. Another MVP added to the resume. He also has a DPOY. And City Guy wins the most improved player, averaging 18 and 11. That's what I'm talking about. We got some talent in LA outside of the James family, man. That's what we need if we want to win some more championships because apparently our big three, it just hasn't been enough these past couple years. We were basically the number one seed. You know what I mean? A couple more wins, we would have been there. 60 and 22 on the season this year. We're facing the Rockets coming out of the play-in tournament. And oh my gosh, we almost lost lost to him we went to seven ended up you know curb stomping them in game seven and now we got the clippers in round two we beat them in five conference finals it's going to be the oklahoma city thunder i told y'all they become a problem the more you get into the simulation the better they get and they're here they're ready they've got a squad game number one of the series goes to us game two is going to go to them we're up two to one in the series we're up three to one and we're in the nba finals taking on the raptors led by cooper flag the Cooper Flag and Jalen Green duo is cool, man, but they're not better than us. Game one's going to go to us. Game two also goes to us. Game three's going to go to us. And we lost game four, but we end up winning game five. Braun averages a triple-double in the finals to lead us to an NBA championship. And that is two out of four championships done. We're 50% of the way there. Let's see if we can repeat. We have yet to win two championships in a row so far in this video, but now would be a great time for that to change. Somebody finally snapped Braun's MVP streak. Ace Bailey averages 42 and 14 to win the MVP award. That is ridiculous. LeBron has continued to win those DPOYs. He still made all NBA first team. Bryce and Bronny also made all NBA as well. I mean, you'd expect that. They're both pretty high overalls. Now, one thing I was wondering about, the stats have low-key been looking ridiculous. I'm thinking they changed the shot clock to a shorter amount of time. Yeah, they changed it to 20 seconds. I was going to say the stats are looking wild. Anyway, we won 62 games on the season. We're looking to repeat as NBA champions. Round number one, we're taking on the New Orleans Pelicans. They're the seven seed, we're the two seed, and we sweep them. Round two, we got the Portland Trail Blazers. We were down three to one in the series, but we're gonna go on to force a game seven. Portland's got Franz Wagner, Koa Pete, Evan Mo. Oh my gosh, this team is comp for sure. Let's see if we can get the job done. Big game seven on the way. 
Man, I feel like recently we've been losing in a lot of these Game 7s, and that trend might just continue. Oh, we're coming back! We've got a close one. Let's hop in and see if we can seal the deal. Here we go. Five-point game, minute 45 to go. Blazers have the ball. This game is still very much within reason for them, but we have an advantage, so we've just got to put together some stops, play calm and composed, and we should be good to go. Adams going to give it down to Noel. Noel, post it up on Bron. Come on, Bron. We need some good defense out of you. Shot clock starting to wind down. Less than five seconds to go. Franz Wagner has it at the top of the key. Great defense there. Franz is going to miss the three. We needed that stop. Now if we get a bucket, we'll be in an even better spot. Jalen Hood, Shafino has it. He's going to pull the three ball, and he hits. Oh, man. Get him out of here, bro. That's all I needed to see. This game is done. Oh, okay. It's not done with it all. Man, I thought for sure we had this in the bag, but now it is a three-point game. 39.2 seconds to go. Let's just score. Back to Shepard. Shepard going to give it to Bron, who pulls the three, and he hits it. Let's go. LeBron James, the big shot. We needed that bad. As soon as I hopped in that SimCast, the Blazers started going on a crazy run, but we still got to get this stop. Then I'll feel real comfortable that we actually have this win in the bag. If we stop the mirror, we should be good. Mobley over to Adams, over to Franz. Franz going to give it to Fields. Fields pulls the three. Oh my gosh. All right, bro. We've got ourselves a ball game here. The Blazers do not want to quit. Bronny James is going to be going to the free throw line. I expect him to knock down both of these. Oh, wait, we're not in the bonus yet, so he'll be going to the free throw line in just a second. But like I said, he's going to hit these for us. Bronny, I believe in you. First one is good. Second one for Bronny is also good. So we're up by five. Do not let up another three-pointer. Franz Wagner bringing the ball up the floor, defended by Gary Trent Jr. It goes down to Mobley. Mobley misses the quick two. There we go. We get a quick stop, and this game is finally over with. They gave us a scare there, though. Shout out to Bronny, did his thing. Bryce was really good, and so was Bronny. And we're moving on to the conference finals. That was a hard battle. We had to pull off a 3 1 comeback against the Blazers to make it here. Now we're taking on the San Antonio Spurs, led by Victor Wenbinyan. Hama. Game number one of the series goes to Wemby and the Spurs. Game two also goes to the Spurs. Game three goes to the Spurs. And oh man, this one's probably over with. We get swept. Still only two NBA championships, and we are heading into LeBron, Bronny, and Bryce's 10th NBA season. I expected it to be over with by now. I'm not going to lie to y'all. LeBron is back. Another MVP award added to the mantle. He's got to have five by now, right? He has nine? Oh no, that's counting the ones from his real life career. He actually has six in this video. I was about to say, I was like, hold on, did I lose count that bad? LeBron also won Defensive Player of the Year. He, of course, made All-NBA first team. Bryce ended up making the second team, and Bronny did not make any All-NBA teams. We were the number one seed, 52 wins on the season. So it seems like the West has calmed down a little bit. We don't have any 60-win teams this year. Round one, we easily beat Denver. Round two, we got the Oklahoma City Thunder, and we're going to a Game 7. Yeah, this is a good Thunder team, as you'd expect. OKC is always good in the simulation, it seems like. Game seven on the way. We got to clutch up. Our backs are against the wall here, down by three points, less than two minutes to go in the game. We have the ball, though, so if we hit a three here, game's all tied up. You know, that is how math works. LeBron at the top of the key, swings it to Hood Shafino. Big shot. There you go. Jalen Hood Shafino has had a couple big threes in these hopping games. I think he had one against the Blazers. Was that last season? But yeah, Jalen hood Shafino has been clutch. Dylan Harper has it, gives it down to SGA. We need some good defense. Shea fades, misses, and we get the rebound. Now it goes to Bronny. Bronny up to hood Shafino. hood Shafino's going to pull, and he misses it. That's kind of a crazy shot. SGA has the ball at the top of the key. Screen's coming from Chet Holmgren. Shea down to Chet, and Chet is going to go to the line. I expect both of these to go in from Chet. He is a marksman at the center position, and he does knock them both down. We're still only down by two points, though. Gary Trent Jr. bringing up the ball, gets the screen from LeBron James, and what a pass down to our big man. Wow, great find by Gary Trent Jr. Also a great cut. This game is tied. Let's get a stop. Shea Gilgis Alexander has it. He's going to go for a pick and roll with Chet Holmgren. Holmgren open on the roll, but our big recovers, and we get the rebound. Gary Trent Jr. has it. Trent gets the screen from LeBron James. Now we see Bryce rolling. Bryce on the pop, and he misses the three. No. 
All right, Thunder have the ball back. Game is still tied up here. Holland kind of open around the basket, but we recover well defensively. Ball goes over to Shea Gilgis Alexander. SGA in the corner. Shot clock winding down. Finds J Dub for a three. J Dub smokes it, and it is tied here. 16.3 seconds to go. Let's close this one out and move on to the next round. Come on, man. This is a huge play right here. We're trying to win ring number three, and we got to advance to the finals to do that. So we need a bucket. Bronny James at the top of the key, defended by Shea Gilgis Alexander. Bronny gives it over to Bryce James. Bryce going to find Bron in the post. Bron going to work. Layup. Misses. Gets his own rebound, and he hits it. Big shot from LeBron James. 0.5 seconds to go. What a finish. He stayed with his shot, and now we are up by two. Let's go. All right, man. Just do not, and I mean do not, let up a three-pointer here for OKC. J-Dub gives it into Shea from deep. Please no. Okay. We're good. I've seen shots like that go in before in 2K, so I was a little scared, but we do get the dub, and we're moving on. LeBron, 39, 15, and 7, and the biggest two-pointer of the game to win it. Now we've got the Sacramento Kings. Oh, thank goodness, man. We don't even have to take on San Antonio. This team, they're not nearly as good as that Spurs squad. I think we got them. We're up 3-1, to one and we beat them in 5. So now we're moving on to the finals against the Atlanta Hawks. The Hawks got a nice little team here. I think we're better, but sometimes that doesn't matter in 2K. Game number 1 goes to Atlanta. Game 2 is going to go to us. We're up 2-1. to one. It's tied up at 2 apiece. Big game 5 on the way. Our team has shown that they can be clutch, so we need them to do it once again. This game is coming down to the wire. We've got a one-point game with a minute 22 to go. Ball is going to go into Wilkins. Wilkins defended by Bryce James. It looks like he's trying to go to work here on Bryce. He gets the screen, working in the mid-range, gives it down to the big who misses the layup, and we secure the rebound. Bronny going to give it to an open hood. Shafino, Jalen Hood Shafino is him, bro. Oh my goodness, every time he comes up with timely buckets, we needed that three bad. And he was able to get open, knock it down, and we've got a two-point lead. Wilkins working on Bryce James, fakes a couple times, shot clock starting to tick down, and LeBron picks it off. He's on the fast break, gives it to Hood Shafino, and Hood Shafino's going to the line. I already know these are dropping. He's got ice in his veins. First one for JHS is good. Second one for Hood Shafino is also good, so we've got a four-point lead. One more stop here, and I'm feeling comfortable in this game. Wilkins gives it up to Darling. Darling has it. He gives it over to Mayer. Mayer over to Clowney. Clowney defended by James. Swings it to Mayer. Now it's back to Darling. Darling gets the screen. Shot clock winding down, and oh my goodness, they are getting clean. How did that go in? Bank is open? Are you kidding me? Was that a bank shot? I feel like you really do not see that often in the world of 2K. But we've still got a two-point lead here. They're probably going to be playing the foul game. Yep, Bronny James is going to the foul line. I know he's got these for us, though. First one for Bronny is good. Second free throw for James is also cash. Do not let up a three-pointer, guys, and we should be in business. Clowney inbounding the ball. Ball's going to go into Darling. Do not give up a three. Wilkins pulls, and he misses. GG's, bro. I already know we're good. We're out of here, man. That was a win we really needed. Shout out to LeBron coming through with 37-7-7. and We're one game away from an NBA championship, and we're going to complete this series. LeBron James wins finals MVP. Only one more ring to go, guys, and this video is complete. Let's lock in and make this a repeat. Our squad has yet to win two rings in a row. Squad is still looking good. No excuse not to get it done this year and complete the goal of four rings. LeBron James, another MVP and another DPOY. It's just regularly scheduled programming at this point. Bronny makes All-NBA third team. We were the one seed, 65 wins on the year. Let, let's get this repeat, man. Round number one, we got the Spurs. We beat them in five. Round two, we got OKC. Okay, we're up three to two, and we beat them in six. Conference finals, we got the Golden State Warriors, and we're down three to one. Hey, Bron has done this before. He's came back down 3-1 against the Warriors. They got a Sar Thompson and Zion, but outside of that, this team sucks. How did we get Jalen Duran on the team? Bro, we got Duran on a minimum. If we lose this year, we're frauds. Okay, we're going to take game five and game six. Game seven on the way. Potential 3-1 comeback might just be completed. All right, man, we did it. Just a light little 3-1 comeback to make the NBA Finals. Bronny had a great game. So did LeBron. And we're moving on to the NBA Finals against Chicago.
Oh, it's Scotty Barnes. He beat us before. We're not letting him do that again. Come on now. Game number one of the series goes to the Bulls. Oh, we're letting him do it again, aren't we? We're down three to zero. We take game four and we lose in five. Bro, Scotty Barnes is cooking us. That sucks that we lost that year, man, because last year we had a huge opportunity with getting Jalen Duran on the minimum. Now he's not on the team anymore, so we definitely got worse. Bro, they changed the shot clock, so now all the scores are terrible, bro. 48 to 37 is ridiculous. I'm going to have to change that back when I can in the offseason. But oh my goodness, man. 45 seconds? Bro, the NBA might have like three viewers. Season is wrapped. LeBron James won MVP, averaging a whopping 11, 5, and 5. <laughs> Bron also won DPOY. I think the players were guarding themselves with the shot clock being a million minutes. We won 61 games this year, so I guess we benefited from this. We also picked up Cam Whitmore on a minimum contract. We've been doing a good job picking up these good players on minimum deals. Round number one, we're taking on the Dallas Mavericks, and we're going to go ahead and sweep them. Round two, we got OKC. We beat them in five. Conference finals, we got the Minnesota Timberwolves, and we'll beat them in six. So we're back. NBA finals taking on the Philadelphia 76ers. Bro, the teams get crazy. The deeper you get into the sim, they just get more and more stacked. But I think our team is definitely better. Game number one of the series is going to go to us. Game two goes to Philly. But we're going to take the next two games and gain a three to one lead. And we end up finishing the series in five, meaning that we have now completed the ultimate goal of winning four NBA championships. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to like and subscribe. Have a great day and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.